Hey friends, welcome back to another house to home vlog. So today I was looking around the kitchen and I was like, you know what? The kitchen needs a good refresh, okay, for summer because summer is approaching, all right? So I just wanna switch some things out. I have some other pieces that I know that I've been collecting for my bookcases that I've been telling you guys about, I feel like for forever and it's gonna eventually happen, I promise, okay? Things are coming. These things take a lot of money and time though to plan out, but in the meanwhile, I feel like some of those pieces would look really nice in the kitchen and I don't know, I just wanna switch some stuff around and just really kinda, I don't know, spruce the kitchen up a little bit for the summertime. So that's what we're gonna do today. And then my mom, y'all, my mom saw like my DIY vase video and she wanted her vase kind of like the same as well too, but she wanted it to be in black. So I'm doing that today for her. I honestly, like she's been like reminding me like, okay, when you gonna do it, when you gonna do it? Um, and I told her I would do it for her, so today is the day that I need to get that done. So we'll do that in this vlog as well. But let me just show you kind of like what we're working with with the kitchen. Obviously, I love how the kitchen looks as it is right now. But again, you know, when you live in a space for so long, you kinda, you know, you wanna change up things a little bit, okay? It's, it's nothing wrong with that. And I love seasonal decor, y'all. Like, you guys know that. I feel like I always go a little bit more out like with fall and especially like Christmas, like the winter kind of decor in my home. And I feel like spring and summer deserves a little love too. So let's just see what we are working with right now. All right, so that's what the kitchen looks like right now. Obviously, I am still in love with how the kitchen looks as of now, but I just wanna change little things, like switch out a couple things, brighten it up a little bit, bring and introduce some new pieces that have honestly have been sitting in like my little decor closet, what I call it. So we're gonna see what we come up with. Also, our friends from Rugs USA sent over this really beautiful rug to put in the kitchen so i did have a runner that was in here it's currently like in the wash because it got dirty uh but you know it is a darker runner i love it i got it from home goods but i'm like you know what i need something a little bit more light a little bit more airy that can give like you know the summer vibes okay we're bringing in the summer we want to feel like you know it's fresh it's airy you know the sun is out like i feel i don't know like i feel a lot happier in the spring and summer obviously i mean <laughs> <laughs> the sun's out. So anyway, I'm gonna show you guys this beautiful jute rug later. I like, I am obsessed with this rug, so beautiful. And it has like jute rugs. This is so weird, but I feel like jute rugs have like this really nice like smell when you first open it, like a little like, I don't know, it smells fresh, okay? Like, if you know, you know, okay? Like it has a certain smell, but I love it. It smells really fresh. Like I'm, I'm just excited. So let's get all of the decor items out of the closet right now. I'm gonna show y'all what the closet looks like. The closet is actually in my little half bath and it's a little messy. Don't judge me. I need to do like a whole restock. So restock video coming soon on TikTok. If you don't follow me on TikTok, what are you doing? Go follow me now. But as you guys can see, I have a bunch of just random decor items in here. Obviously things I've been storing and just waiting to be placed on the bookshelves or just like different places in my home. So yeah, I'm going to probably pick out a couple items and we're gonna see what we can come up with. I'm excited. this video isn't sponsored but by the time you guys see this video my sponsor post for rugs usa should be up so go support your girl on tiktok okay i'm getting sponsored on tiktok and instagram so support your girl on these posts okay i would love the support if you guys comment and just show a little love that honestly like helps a lot to support my channel and for me to continue to make content for you all again i really did like want to switch up things in the kitchen and the sponsorship just came at the perfect time. All right, so we're gonna start with the island first. I honestly, I feel like I've been struggling with just kind of like rearranging the island ever since winter has been done. 
Only because I really loved how it looked for winter and kind of like the greenery and things I had in it. And then now that that is over, I'm like, okay, how do I like change it up and make it feel very summery, very welcoming, light, airy, but still kind of, you know, my vibe. Like I want, I want the island to give, okay? The island is the focal point of most kitchens and it's really important to make sure the decor that you have on your island just sets the mood and tone for all the other decor pieces within the kitchen. So I am going to play around with a couple combinations and yeah, let's just see what we land on. Maybe we're gonna have to talk it through together because y'all, I am, I'm just like, I just need something new, something fresh. I love the dough bowl. Like I love my dough bowl, but I'm willing to kind of, not part ways with it, but switch it up a little bit if I find a combination that I like. Cause I don't want it to be crowded. I don't want it to be cluttered, but I feel like out of the stuff that I just showed you that I put on the dining table, something should be able to be placed in this island and make a statement, but it not be like, I don't know, underwhelming really, or overwhelming too. I don't, I don't want it to be underwhelming or overwhelming. So y'all, I'm, I'm in distress about this island. Let's just get into it. <laughs> kitchen. We want to make sure we have it, you know, a fruit bowl kind of vibe. Um, but I love like, I know I love how aesthetic this is as well too. So we'll just have to like lay our fruit and bananas around like the bowl and like put our apples in there. Like that's no problem. I mean, sometimes we, I love having our fruit like in the bowl, bowls and out, but sometimes I do put them in the fridge just to like preserve them and like stop you know, stop them from speeding up the process of um, just perishing. So yeah, I do love this vibe, even with the pineapple in it, like it looks like, okay, like it's functional, you know what I mean? But um, I don't know, it's cute, I like it. It's very vibey, it's very light, it's very airy. It feels very like, you know, very summertime. Honestly, this is my favorite part of the kitchen. I am so proud of this area and kind of what I came up with, but you know, it like over time, it, you know, I, I just feel like it needs a little something else, a little like, I don't know, we need to switch it up a little bit, especially because the season is here. I love this piece. I think it's one of the most beautiful pieces to hold your wooden spoons and just other things that you want to hold in this, but I, I don't know, I just feel like I want something else, something different. Again, we're recycling and reusing what we already have. I'm not trying to buy anything else. So I do have this vase. So you guys have seen this a lot, like in a lot of videos, and this was actually on my island already, so you already saw this. But I was thinking maybe this could be kind of the holder, and I already know the mouth of this is way too wide, so I could keep it in this original holder and have it in this. And I don't know, I think it would be a cute addition. The only thing with this is that it's not as tall, so I may need to kind of put like a book or something to kind of, I don't know, elevate it a little bit, but let's do that and just see if we like the look because I think overall, I love the aesthetic of how it looks. Like look how beautiful that looks on camera. Like it is, it you know, it is very light, airy. But I think it's gonna be a really beautiful addition to the kitchen for summertime. Honestly, the perfect piece to have here at the breakfast nook because again it makes it very functional so if I'm like sitting across from someone I can still kind of like see them even though this arrangement is right here 
Whereas the taller base, it was just harder. It just wasn't as functional. Again, I can always move it and it's fine, but I just love this so much more. It just, I don't know, it's just so much more of a vibe and it fits the breakfast nook space so much better. So I'm gonna show you guys the rug really quick. Look how beautiful this rug is. So like I said, it's a jute rug. It's very light, it's very airy, but it also has some darker tones as well too in it. So it kind of looks a little blue, I don't know. Oh, this is, oh, this is blue. I didn't realize that. <laughs> but it kind of comes off a little bit as black as well too, but it is blue. But this rug is absolutely beautiful. I honestly feel like you really can't tell once it's on the floor. It looks like it's honestly black. It looks black in the picture, but we're gonna lay it out and just see how it looks and vibes with the space because colors actually, what I've learned is like colors can actually look really different once you have it in the space. And I mean, yeah, it's, it, it, I don't know guys, it's looking, it, it kind of does look blue. <laughs> it kind of does look blue. I don't know, we're gonna see what it looks like. <laughs> that the stripes on this rug is actually like a navy blue let me show you guys so on camera it does look pretty black and on the floor it looks a lot darker so I'm okay with it but when you actually look a lot closer it picks up as this like navy blue color I don't know if you guys can see that and you know what honestly it is fine because it does bring a little interest to the kitchen again you can't really tell but I just wanted to be transparent with you guys in case you're looking to buy this rug. Again, it is navy blue on the stripes, like on the end. Again, it's very beautiful. I think that you really can't tell, especially in my space because I have gray cabinets. I have this kind of going on, this like charcoal gray, like mud room. And so like the colors that I pick up in my room, it looks darker than what it actually is. Um, and again, navy blue is a dark, like it's a darker blue. So it looks fine. Like it doesn't really kind of like clash or really stand out too much. So I think I'm going to just keep it. But just like FYI, if you like this rug, it is navy blue. So I just kind of want to be real and transparent about that. But it's beautiful. So beautiful rug. Um, I actually really love it. I don't mind. I Like, I actually don't mind the color oddly. Like, I wouldn't have probably chosen, to be honest, if I knew it was navy blue, but it oddly kind of works in this room. All right, so let me show you guys the final look of the kitchen with the kitchen refresh. Small changes, small changes, but I feel like these changes in the kitchen have a really big impact, so very happy about that. Let's do a little DIY right now. So it's the next day and I want to finish this DIY project. I lied, I thought I was gonna do it all in the same day, but it just didn't happen like that. So my mom has this vase. Like I said, you can get any vase. I've done this on like a previous vlog, so if you haven't seen this before, you can definitely check out that vlog. I'll leave it in the description box down below, but I'm not doing like a step-by-step -step in this video like I did in the last video. I'll just kind of speed through it, but all you need is a vase. A glass vase will do, it's fine. And then I just use baking soda to give it like that texture, vibe and feel that I want because I want it to kind of resemble like a ceramic type of base. We just need acrylic paint. My mom is doing like this black color, so I'm really excited to see how this looks. A paintbrush, I got this from what, Hobby Lobby. And then a plate, that's all you need. It's really simple, so I'm about to paint this, and yeah, we're gonna see how it turns out. I'm really excited, because the one that I did, the bowl that I did actually, wasn't a glass bowl, it was already ceramic. So this is my first time actually painting a glass type of object. So really excited to see how that turns out. I think it actually may look a lot better as far as like texture wise. All 
right, so I am pretty much done with the base. It looks amazing. I did do some touch-ups. That's why it does look a little wet still, but I am obsessed with it. I think my mom is gonna really love it. But I'm gonna end the video right here. If you love this video, be sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.